What's up guys, it's Hanai the Sun RCT bringing you another video and here I am back for part number two in what I believe is going to become a series because there's a lot of ground to cover. I hope you guys are doing great out there and I hope you guys are enjoying the videos that I've done so far during uh, this part of the year. We're basically halfway through 2019 and um, there's a lot, a lot to cover, a lot of exciting stuff happening out there. I just decided for this time around, I wanted to dedicate some time on this, which has been a very big part of my gaming life from a point on, which is the hyperspin setup and stuff. So in this one, I'm going to go through, because I didn't have much of a chance on the other one, I went rambling on and talking and talking and talking. It was more like an introduction. This one is more specifically... Uh, for the features, you know, what is the difference between this one and the old setup that I have? Um, what features have been improved with time? Um, what is the difference? What is the requirements? What um, benefit uh, benefits me in terms of usability? In terms of um, you know how fun it is to um, use, how fun it is to integrate other stuff that you want to add to it. And customization, of course, because that is a very big part, uh, especially with all of these do-it-yourself um, projects out there that are available. You know, how much of that is in this uh, specific project? You know, do you have the tools available for you to do whatever you want with uh, said software? So without further ado, I'm not going to take too much time talking. I'm going to just take you right to it so you can see what I'm talking about. Alright guys, so now we're back to uh, relaunching the HyperPi 2 again. This time I'm going to try and walk you guys through the different features and stuff. So basically let's go to, let's go to the tabs here first so I can show you guys a little bit more the inner workings of this, this tab of course has everything that is available. Take a close look and you'll see so many systems. <clears throat> Even Cody is in here. You have Mugen, you have Main. There's so much stuff here that it'll probably drive anybody insane. Many of these I have already configured and are up and running. Many of these will not be configured because due to storage space I'm not able to to run them yet it's gonna take a long time but a lot of these that you're seeing here pass by a lot of these are up and running and working beautifully and I will get to show those off to you but as you can see it goes on and on and on you know it's a huge list that basically covers everything you would want. Um, I'm not gonna go through the boring aspect of this. I'm just gonna go in depth a little bit more towards the features. And by features, I mean taking, for example, the arcade one. If we go in, you're gonna see basically everything that has to do with arcade. I'm not going to name all of these because you can see them from here. It ranges the whole gamut of arcade history, which you can of course choose and pick which ones you want to have up and running, as long as you have the storage space of course. I would say Hyperspin covers, or the Hyperspin I used to have, covered at the very least 
probably 50% or less of what I'm seeing here. So yeah. There is a lot to do here. But, that being said, let's take one of these as an example. Um, one that I have up and running is... Uh, see Capcom Play System 3 I think is one that I have yeah as you see here this is one of the views available um, in this one you see in the upper right corner 10 and 14 these are the 14 games that I have for this and it's displayed in this fashion but by pressing Y you can change it to a cover flow system. I think a, a better one to show this off would be the consoles and one that has a lot inside its tab is basically the Super Nintendo. Now there's nothing super extraordinary from this tab because you know this is basically a system a very dear system that is included in every front end or every classic collection but I'm just going in here to show you guys the different views that you have you have the cover flow which is the one that I'm currently using you see again the number of titles it has its own name on the left side, the uh, box art, the cartridge, the name of the console, the name of the game, when the year came out, everything that you would need in this view. Now, if I would press Y, it would take me into another cover flow, but this time focusing more on the cartridge side. Even though there's a box there thrown in. You have a cartridge image. You press Y again and you have a box art the bigger cover flow to better show the art on the box it's not 3d of course press y again you get it by title here it starts getting different you have kind of like a more dramatic listing you scroll up and down through the games, pressing up and down, of course. This one has, instead of a name list, it has a wheel. Now, just in case you're wondering if I'm full of shit or not, I'm just gonna go ahead. Even though I didn't set up for this, but I'm gonna show you guys, for example, let me get a game that I want to show let's say Empire Strikes Back if I want to play that game just press A it'll do a fade it'll let you know loading game loading complete yeah a little snazzy to hide the whole emulation going on in the background and then you have the game up and running ready to go And there you have it. It even tells you when your connector, well, what kind of controller you have connected and if it actually connected. Now I press escape it is going to throw me back out into the menu that I showed you guys. A little pause, you saw the desktop there. Minor thing is something that can be adjusted. Now going back to the views, if you keep pressing Y, you get another type of display this time with a little movie moving around with the cursor still have the names in the bottom another style so you have a lot of styles to pick and choose so I don't get bored of seeing the same menus over and over there's a lot of variety you have this one looks resembles a little bit more like the old hyperspin style with the wheel which I still enjoy to be completely honest. Probably leave it at here. 
but I, I don't know if that's the last one. Let me see. Oh, you have one that scrolls on the bottom. Another one wheel type, but this one vertical. Box art with cursor. And then we go to the cover flow view of the 3D box art, which is the one that I currently am leaving the Super NES at. There are certain types of games, of course, that um, are better suited with the other views, like the arcades and stuff like that. It's something that you get to mess around with and, again, tailor to your liking. Now, like I said, you have your favorites tab that you need to set up. I haven't done that yet because I still, is like I said, it's a work in progress. So I'm basically focusing for the time being into getting all of the stuff that I like first. And you're going to be seeing which ones I have up and running. In the next few videos of course um, interesting stuff let me see what else I can mention you have your plugins here these are included plugins for different types of things and people who have messed with uh, hyperspin before and rocket launcher they, they know that these are all important and very cool tools that you can add so yeah, that basically covers the feature aspect of what is available. Now, I'm going to take the time here to show you guys, at least on my side, what I have available for each. I set up, I set up main. You're going to notice right away because you're going to see the, the games and the art right away. Name Vance, I haven't this one either. I'm just gonna show what I do have available. 181 games out of the final burn. Daphne, I have Daphne, but it's still not working correctly. I do, however, have the games for it. This one, no, I haven't set up yet, but I do have the games for it. Atari Classics, <laughs> yes I do, Capcom Classics, yes I do have it set up, Irem Classics, which I had, uh, I had basically a video, uh, not a video, a tab on Hyperspin, also covering or focusing on Irem, love that company. Konami Classics, when well, Konami used to be Konami. Uh, Midway, Namco, you get the idea. Nesica X Life. Oh, guys, when I get to the when I get to the arcade aspect, you guys are gonna freak out. But enough of that. I'm getting ahead of myself and I cannot allow myself to do that. This is going to be it guys for the features. Uh, one thing that I could do is show you guys how I have it's all right here. Right here in this folder. I have a disk which the specific one that I have is a um, is a file from arcadepunks.com be sure to go over there and visit they have tons of stuff and uh, really amazing people uh, have a lot of stuff available for the, the gamer enthusiasts now in the instructions they say that you need to rename your drive to H it will not work out of the box so to speak if you do not configure once you configure that you extract and it is crazy the amount of stuff that you need to do here but you have your folders for your emulators as you can see here there are plenty of them not as much as the hyperspin build that I had because that one had like each 
and every one of the, the systems divided into a folder. Here is different because there's a lot of emulators that cover multiple systems. So what's the point of having so many emulators? If there's uh, emulators like, for example, here, you're going to find uh, RetroArch. And RetroArch covers a huge amount of consoles and portables and stuff like that. So that basically takes care of that. Now, my drive, of course, takes almost, you know, 500 uh, gigs. So I need to be very wary of what I do, what I pick and choose, because some of the stuff I need to actually put on other drives, like the bigger games and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, you have the ROMs all set up in different folders. And it is a it is a labor of love at the end of the day. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like and sub and stay tuned for the next one. Because the next one I'm going to be covering the arcade games. We're going to go in-depth and show off some of the stuff and gameplay of the of the the games inside of those uh, the arcade tabs so stay tuned for that it's gonna be plenty of fun so take care guys see you next time hot died 7 signing out